What's going on, moviegoers all over the world? My name is Ryan D. You can hold the Ryan 680. I'm Angela at that cat lady, Ange. And I'm Bud. Bud, man. what's going on? <laughs> what's going on, man? Like Thanks Batman. for being a part of the show. Yeah. Right. They, no, no, no. Not, yeah. What did you say, Batman? Batman. <laughs> 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 All right, well, we're not talking about Batman this time no, around, no, no. this time zone, and this world. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our review of Game of Thrones, episode four. Can you believe it? How many episodes are left? Can two. You be- two. Two. Wow, that is insane. I never would have imagined this. And then this. the movie. And, that- <laughs> <laughs> and the spinoff That's shows. The HBO, <laughs> right? the HBO movie, right, at the very end. HBO will announce it at the very last episode. Alrighty, guys. So let's get right to it, man. I mean, so we're going to talk about our uh, review, guys, of what we felt right after this. And we get so many questions answered in this episode. You know, we got, uh, I know we talked about it last episode. Um, and yeah, so Ted's not here. We replaced Ted already. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, um, so, uh, you know, I had this question and over and over, it's been in my head, like, how much Unsullied did she lose? How much people how many people died and we got how much that, of her yeah. army did she lose and we got this answer yeah. <laughs> yeah and it was so brutal man i just i can't believe it when gray worm picked up the thing he's like half I was like, oh, so how did you dude. feel i thought it was more i was like I know. there's like 10 left <laughs> yeah <laughs> how did you feel that opening yeah. scene where they're i guess the about fu- to be burning the funeral the dead. yeah so the funeral was being held uh, How did you feel jewelry. about that? Yeah, that was that was pretty trippy. I mean, that was just like I can't believe you know that Theon. I mean, it was sinking in, of course, because I mean, just coming out right right off that battle, I feel like it was a breath of fresh air. Because I mean, just nonstop action right off the bat uh, from last episode, and just seeing this transition and having it, you know, the aftermath of winter of the you know the winter storms coming which what, what you think but well you know like since like episode three was such a big epic battle yeah, the long and, night you know from the start of this uh, episode four it was like you know like just seeing all the characters that died all get once more and mm-hmm. saying their goodbyes it's real touching yeah i think the one i connect most was like dion because you know that character was from the beginning and yeah. you hated him at first and then um, <laughs> yeah you, you really hated him <laughs> and then you go yeah. sorry for him yeah, and then you're like, all right, you're rooting for him, and then like, oh, I was like, oh, that's the way to go out, and yeah, you know, it's a pretty good, cool character to see. Him. Yeah, and love character. He was my favorite character in the season, episode three. Yeah. like his arc of defending Bran oh, yeah. to the end. Ooh. I love the way he went out. Yeah, he was yeah. just he, he gave it his all. So this episode was titled "The Last of the Starks," and um, so yeah, so we did see obviously Jura. Uh, Jorah, right? No, Jorah. Jorah. Oh my God. Okay, yeah. Jorah. So many, so many names in here. I mean, so many characters in this series. Um, you know, we do see the funeral being held. I mean, we do see Danny. How she's really lost some someone and everything. And you know, just going into this, I mean, we see also the victory in it. You know, just everyone's cheering. Everyone's getting drunk. Everyone's drinking wine. Everyone's just being happy that we're alive. You know. And right off the bat, though, we just go right into tension again. I mean, between uh, uh, Sansa and Danny. I mean, th- it was still there. Even when they were cheering, even, they were, even they were happy to be alive, I was just like, man, there's still tension. They looked at each other. Because Sansa left. I it's was just, not over. It's, big, it's not. No. Big elephant in the room. Yeah, yeah big, huge Especially elephant. Because, yeah. I mean... Not just with Sansa and da- and Danny, but I feel like yeah. with John too. Like they had that John's unresolved conflict. John's and right in the middle. He's Sansa and like, Danny had the unresolved yeah. conflict. So everyone yeah. is just okay. Now, what do we do now? Like, yeah, the battle against the dead is done. Mm-hmm. Now we have Cersei. How do we move forward with this? And yeah. what happens after that? Yeah. Next, yeah, step. it was it was so much. Um, and then of course, at the which kind of threw me off guard was Danny announced. Uh, um, Robert's uh, Robert Baratheon's bastard made him a lord. Oh, she um, declared him not a bastard a anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> declared him a lord. So I was like, "What the heck? That was random." I mean, I feel like that was very random. But have then, we heard well, of it's that a move. Yeah, it's, it's a, a move. It's a, a, a great move. It's a great move. Chess piece move right yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, so that way, but it, he didn't want the throne. But just, that was a for sure thing, like to make sure that he doesn't want the throne. Yeah. I guess you could like say. she gives yeah. him something to kind of distract. Yeah, him. even though he didn't want it, it whatsoever, never had a claim to it, or he he didn't want it at all. So, um, but what he does want, ladies and gentlemen, he does want Arya <laughs> to be his lady, <laughs> and he he proposes to her and rejected. Dang, rejected. <laughs> I mean, but you gotta meet. Would it make sense though for her to say yes and settle down, considering I mean, all that she's gone through? N- 
No one, yes. I mean, you could still be an assassin and still be a lady. I was like, <laughs> come on. I mean, it, it, it probably won't work, but, you know, you could still try. She uh, does care about him, but I think yeah. it doesn't make I don't sense know for she, her. I don't think she's ready I don't, yet. Yeah. She no. has a mission. She doesn't want to get distracted. Maybe She after. still has uh, uh, Cersei on the list. That's her list. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. She yeah, doesn't want to get distracted yeah. by a man. So. Yeah, I think, I think when her <laughs> list is over, I think that's when she'll, like, finally, like, okay, I can. Could... But I do like that idea of the couple yeah yeah nice yeah in, yeah, in the books it does happen I, I mean it does happen but you know in the show it just uh, uh obviously she it's, she it's almost there now. but not the timing yeah the timing just right. doesn't fit yet um so uh man that sucks though how he, he got rejected dang well, he tell you it's heartbroken <laughs> yeah it's heartbroken <laughs> and then of course we do get uh we do get brian and Jamie, no, and they the finally, they finally, finally hook up. And I was just like, I don't like that one. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that was, I was pretty. I was rooting for Torment. I was rooting for Torment. I was, dude, but it, on, it wasn't, it wasn't dude, there. His it wasn't bubble, there. the way the facial expressions of him was so like sad. I was just like, he was busted. His bubble he was, was busted. He was heartbroken yeah. for a split second until he met that other northern girl. No, yeah. no but that was fast, no, but, but that was like he was just like he doesn't care for obviously for that, but he was just I like know, okay, whatever. I like, know he was just but, you know tempering his sadness, and he was but. drunk, and he was just like I mean he just really wanted he wanted the big tall lady, the big tall lady. I mean he said it so many. <laughs> he had times. a plan. Yeah. They're gonna have big tall big, children tall that will conquer the world. Yeah, they'll conquer the world. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, and so. Uh, they finally hook up, which is long, long, long. There like, was a lot of that was a lot yeah, of tension. Yeah, a lot, and it got that released that night, <laughs> <laughs> and time and time again. Uh, <laughs> so but, that was the thing. Yeah. So did they? Was it just that one twist they had, or was it like multiple encounters before? What do you mean? Like, did they hook get up? together? Oh, uh, I like time? one moment they yeah. kind of like looked like they were wanting. They like wanted to, to yeah. Together, but that's about. I it. think I think it might have even been um uh when she, <laughs> when she announced or when Jamie announced her as a knight. I would I would have think that was probably the, because they were both staring at each other's eyes. They both like oh. they like they wanted each other and they're all like oh screw it it's the end it could be the last of our night, uh right be- right before the long night episode episode um episode three but yeah so I mean Jamie I mean they finally hooked up that was long 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 process and it took forever to come many seasons like a lot of seasons for that to it's happen like eight seasons for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's how long this story i mean the relationship took uh so and then of course we do go into uh john snow and danny shows up in john snow's quarters and you know it danny's just now this it's starting to sink in it's starting to sink in that she finds out the truth because in the last episode, we didn't really, they didn't really have time to sink in. It didn't have time to sink in when they she found were, out. Their argument or discussion on the matter yeah. of his parentage was interrupted by the battle. Yeah. Now they have a time to breathe and yeah. really reflect on it. And now she's starting to, I guess, her thoughts are turning for the worse. Yeah. Where it's, um, okay, he has a bigger claim to the throne. Yeah. And you can see it's very evident in that it's very, scene yeah. because she's begging him around, not to tell yeah. anybody because she's threatened by that information yeah. when the wildlings are around Jon Snow when they're drinking and they're having a good time that's when Danny's staring at Jon Snow staring at them react to her and then but at the same time though I feel bad for Danny because she's lost so I mean she's she's lost so much yeah. when coming to the north and she's even said it like when I you know the way they look at you they looked at me but on the other side of the world and, you know, I love that so much because that just shows, like, you know, the characteristics and everything. And, of course, we do get to this, uh, we do get the Starbucks thing. I mean, the Starbucks <laughs> coffee was on there, <laughs> on the table. You know what's funny, though, is that everyone's doing it. It's a Texas thing. I've been seeing it on our, on our feed. I don't know if you all saw it, but uh, the Waterburger. I saw Waterburger I've on there. I've seen Waterburger. And Bill Miller's Bill was Miller. like, dang. I was all like, <laughs> I was all like, you know, I should Photoshop like an Alamo City Movie Talk sticker somewhere on there. A Bucky. A Bucky. <laughs> a Bucky's, right? That would definitely be Texas. <laughs> yeah. And HBO ran with it. They were just like, you know, Danny didn't order a latte. She ordered a uh, herbal tea. So that, that, was, that was a pretty good one, a statement That's by funny. HBO PR. I forget who's supposed to be in charge of like the set. Yeah, like, their job is to make sure like their costumes hey, are the same. Yeah, um, like, someone dropped the ball. Someone <laughs> dropped the ball, right? Uh, like I said, it was Danny's coffee. I mean, she she was just t- just work, uh, you know. Herbal tea. Herbal tea. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, um, uh, those memes were going all over the place. I saw so many; they were just kept going and going so and going. What do you think is going through Danny's mind when she finally is trying to? reason with john about not telling anybody about his parentage yeah so what do you think is going through her mind yeah why 
it just you know because she wants she wants the right to the iron throne she really she's been fighting for it she's felt like she's been destined for it ever since she was born and it's just it's been she's been through so much and same thing with Jon Snow though and Jon Snow said it so many times though he doesn't want the throne yeah. but but he is the male heir and they said it so many times um you know just he is it's the ma- the males is just as back in I'm sorry back in those times the males are more superior yeah, I, I agree with you yeah, it, just, that's how it was good to be a man so <laughs> <laughs> right um but you know the intensity between Dan uh, between Danny and um and Jon Snow you know it just the funny thing is I always not I always laugh at is that she's not upset that that's what the ant and the net and well, it was common she's more, yeah and, the, the and that yeah and Tongarians it's not something but, new it's yeah. not super taboo but she doesn't even mention it she doesn't mention it whatsoever. she's not she's mad just, about that yeah, she's, she's mad about the throne, throne. <laughs> yeah she's mad about the darn throne you're my nephew yeah I don't care you're my nephew I don't care if I just had sex with my nephew Ugh, like I don't I, you want that I have I love with my nephew yeah love, she's in love with him yeah really um and that's hilarious man just I mean she mentioned it again like oh I'm not mad I'm not upset about that. I'm just upset that you want the throne, or that yeah, well, you have a more better he's claim. A threat to the yeah, he has throne, a better yeah. claim to the throne. Um, well, I feel like this episode really showed, like, even in her mind, she's like, man, like when she stares at John and sees all yeah. the people like laughing and like, like being friends with him, and she's seeing like, yeah, he could make a great king. Yeah, and then they're kind of like, well, because he, oh, I don't want to be he, like that. Like, she, like yeah. no one's like praising her. Like, she lost yeah. her dragon. She lost yeah. her army. She like helped a lot with the Winterfell. She brought the whole. Everyone's like, hey, yeah. you were riding a dragon, John. Yeah. That's what. Like, um, they're praised. Yeah. yeah, they're yeah they're praising. So they're he's a big him. Yeah, and because he's a northerner, and oh, I mean, yeah. he's been. I mean, even uh, even Tormont said it. Like he just. You know, you'll be good king, and you'll make a good king, oh, yeah. and everything, and and um, and just you know, so much. Uh, John Snow, like he really, he really just wants, he just wants to live. I mean, I feel like he just wants to love Danny and be with Danny. I feel like, and he's in love with Danny. He doesn't want the throne, and you know, just but everyone's it's praising him for it. Yeah, it's the, the pol- politics. Yeah, politics. Yeah. So, do you he's think? And woman. I and I know um, it's brought up in the conversation between. Um, Lord Varys and Tyrion later on, how the proposal, like he had, uh, Tyrion says, well, you know, it wouldn't be too bad if they ruled together. Do yeah. you think that's something Danny will accept? The, you know, uh, I wish they would rule together. That would make things so much easier. I think that's like what we all thought, like, yeah. from the last season. And like, oh, they'll just get married. And it's problem solved. But yeah. it's kind of like it showed you there. Who's going to sit there? It's really her controlling him. So they they're not happy with them getting together. Yeah. Well, I mean, okay. So, uh, you know, I, I would love it if they would just like split the Iron Throne in half and just be like, okay, here's your half, and here's my half, and just leave it at that. Just mm, that'd or, still be a power struggle though, because it's like I mean, he would control the okay, he would control the north, and she'll control the south. I mean, the seven king you control. There's seven kingdoms to control. So and but but the north already said it so many times. Like we're not gonna we're not gonna bow down to a southern ruler. They're not. That they're so stubborn, they're like Hispanics. They're stubborn in their ways. It's like it's just the way it is. I mean, that's it, stereotypical, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, it's funny. Uh, it's funny, but it's so true. So we do get the uh, also we do get um, the Starks together, and um, uh, you know, with Sansa, Arya, um, uh, Bran, uh, Bran, and and then we do get Jon Snow there, um, and they're just like you know, this is it. This is family and everything, and then he reveals the truth to them. I was kind of mad. At that scene, they didn't show the reaction. Yeah, they like, did. Yeah, they his, did it. Like, yeah, that was my upset. Tell them, like, yeah, okay. And then cut scene, and like, oh and my s- gosh, that's a big thing. And see, to see, and see. Here's the thing. Here's our problem with Jon Snow. He is too honest. Oh. He is way too honest. And I'm just like, but but but, but even Danny said. Danny said it. She said it. She, I mean, that she, thing's just yeah. Everything. She said it. Like she's. He's all like, we can live or we can live among or. He said we can live peace, peacefully together, and Danny's like, I just told you how we can live. We can live peacefully, you know. And she's like adamant. She's very strong headed, and just like, you know, she pretty much told him like, this is it. This is the way to do it, and you don't want to do it, and you don't want to sort of streak your seat to Sam, and you know. And then Brent. Sansa's kind of reminding me of Littlefinger now. Like, yeah, that's like something. Plot, that's plot someone plot you wouldn't want to tell. Yeah, but she's family, and yeah. now she's gonna take it and use it. And she did. Yeah. She yeah, did. She told exactly. Tyrion, who told. 
Various. So it's yeah. spreading. Yeah. She was hesitating and then she's like, hey, yeah. guess what? There's but see, she was sworn to see. She was but there was, a, she, there was a reason she told him. Yeah, what do you think there that is reason a reason. Was? And they implanted that in their brain so that way they could choose Jon Snow. I feel like it just, you know, before that, I mean, even even Tyrion said, uh, for, well, before we go further down to that episode, uh, further down to the episode, um, we'll talk about, I guess, the, the meeting right before they go into, uh, right before they head. Uh, towards um, King's Landing, and you know we do see another question that got answered in this uh, in this episode was uh, we do see the Dothraki. There's some of them still, oh, yeah. still. Which at 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 the time though we they didn't they, they didn't look like, like wiped out. yeah they, look like they got wiped the hell but out. But obviously like, whoever's left is nowhere near compared to what what the horde was before. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, Same thing with the Ansullied. Well, no. I think they said it's like it's an evenly matched against Cersei's army. Yeah. Like they said. Yeah. And like they have like about the same amount of people. But it's weird because it's yeah. like the tipping because Danny had the three great dragons that no one's ever seen. Mm-hmm. She had this massive Dothraki army. She had all of the and Ansullied. Now it's all and now have gone. it's all it's, it's kind of like t- the tides tipping. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it is. Or, it's yeah. Like you see, and then you see that reaction and how mm. Danny is changing. Yeah, and and so we do go into that scene um, where Sansa is adamant, and she is strong headed, of course, just like Danny, and she pretty much tells him like the North were tired, and then but then at the same time you have to we have to understand like both aspects, both point of views. I'm just like, well, Danny came to y'all, you know, Danny, Danny came straight to y'all whenever Jon Snow asked, whenever he bent the knee, she came straight to y'all. To help the North, and if it wasn't for the North, we would all be skeletons, uh, the dead. And Jon Snow said it. And but that, but Sansa, she just doesn't want. She doesn't want to. She's all like, the North will will only fight for a Northern ruler. And then she said, well, the North needs to rest now. And it, I felt like she was just coming up with excuses. To but where, I, like, I can they, understand. They don't, they don't trust Danny. They said it. I can understand both yeah. sides. So I can understand Sansa, although she did have ulterior motives. Yeah. She, she is right though they're wounded yeah they need a rest they're exhausted from battle and the winter mm-hmm. so yeah they need to recuperate a little bit there needs yeah. to be time but on the same hand i can see where danny's coming from the longer they wait the yeah. more cersei can amass more armies yeah. invest more gold or do whatever to make more moves and so danny i can see that urgency danny wants to go and hurry to defeat cersei yeah so i can see both sides yeah, I mean, I would, I would think though, at least Sansa would be on the same side as Danny, because that way, because they're gonna go kill Cersei, you know, they're planning on the to kill, take over King's Landing. Like, come on, like, wouldn't you, you would rather have uh, Cersei rule than Danny? Like, I get it, you don't trust who. I mean, it's the, it's almost like the, you know, the, the, the less of two evils, you know, it just. But that's the thing. Yeah. Do you think? And this question for both of you. Do you think Danny? is changing for the worse her personality her um well, urgency slowly, yeah, yeah. I think so. and in what direction do you think she's going like do you think she may be exhibiting signs of, like the mad king where it's like i, I think tyr- yeah. i think there's going to be a, a point where she's going to have to make a choice and it's yeah. going to make her look like the mad king i feel like um, maybe John. She's gonna feel finally feel that pressure of Jon Snow taking her spot, and now she's yeah. gonna like maybe decide like I gotta take him out because I want to be queen. <laughs> so maybe yeah. she'll have the choice. I don't know, but it, that'll be interesting to show in the show. Like she's slowly becoming like an evil character, not evil character, but yeah. We not, see we see bad choices character. We see uh, we see that progress dramatically into the very uh, to the end of the episode. But right before we we'll, we'll start touching up into that when she's headed back uh, to the south. Um, but we do uh, right before. I know people are upset about it. Um, the dire wolf, the you know, oh, one of the, ghost. One of the yeah, ghost, ah. the very la- uh, he said goodbye to a lot yeah. He didn't, he didn't, man. he didn't say goodbye. But I was telling, I was telling Angela, I was like, well, if you would have said goodbye, I felt like he would have just been like, just come with me. Like he would have been just like, just come with me. And he was missing an ear or, or a piece of his ear That's, was chipped off. That was no, crazy. That that made me mad because yeah. Ghost has been loyal with him yeah. this whole time and since tor- season and he, one. And he just said, Tormont, go take him. Yeah, yeah, and I can understand the logic behind the key. You know, let him be free. You know, he's he able to be north. like like Lemuria. She's in the wild now. She's she in has the wild. her own yeah, family. Arya's, yeah, Arya's dire. Yeah. I can understand that. 
but to not even say goodbye, goodbye or, or pet. Yeah. He kind of gave him like a little nod or something. Yeah. I don't know. I, don't know. Yeah, I, was, I wish he could have done more. You know? Yeah, he could have. I was hoping for more. As a pet owner, yeah. oh I God. would like cry if I left my you're pet. Not, you're not a dire Especially wolf. He's, you're he's, not a dire wolf owner. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if he's yeah. had a ghost for years. Yeah, ever since he was a... I mean, so that's but, the only yeah. thing that made me feel a little upset. Okay. All right, now we we go. We uh, they're moving on to the south, and one one, ah, oh my gosh! So we do see so much life there. Going back to the south, the dragons are happy. They're like, oh man, get out of this oh winter, get out of this cold, <laughs> and then out of nowhere, oh my gosh, out of nowhere, freaking oh, it's just that, uh, I didn't Greyjoy's waiting that. for them, and he's just what's the name of the dragon? Uh, um, <laughs> Rhaegar. Uh, Rhaegar, man. Like, the dude just got like torn up. Yeah. In the last battle. Finally got healed. Yeah. And he's like testing his wings out. Yeah. Know? He's just roaming around, he's like, like oh, minding his own business. Like, yeah. Boom. Man. Boom. Just gets Poor hit dude. on the so side. I, I yeah. had a little bit of hope. Like, I was like, okay, he's going to make it through it when it hit the chest. But yeah. at the neck one, I was, oh man, that I, broke that my was heart. Crazy. I think these are like a little bit bigger from the last spears they made. I yeah. Just, I read somewhere. Like, and and they, all the. They, they upgraded them. All the, yeah, oh, yeah. All, I mean, all the boats, too. They all had them. Oh, no. Every, everyone had them. And, and, you know, just so, so much, uh, just un, unanticipated action there. I mean, it was so so much that, action going on. That was on. like a twist. I didn't that was a trap. That. And 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 Sansa was smart about that. I'll give her that, man. She was very smart about that. And you know, and they do kill. I mean, they do kill him. Sadly, he does fall <sighs> into the ocean. And at the same time, they are destroying, wiping out the boats. And I'm just like, Greyjoy's there. Oh my god, they run the seas, man. The seas is their battle, but they suck on land. But the seas, they they knock it out. They're the navy. They're, they, they're the only Navy in the world that freaking runs the Navy. They run the water. And they were just destroying de- destroying their boats, destroying the Unsully. And at the same time, though, we see Grey Worm searching, searching, and searching for Miss Sunday. And come to find out, Miss Sunday's actually captured by Greyjoy. And, that was sad. Oh, I man. thought that was like, yeah. the, as soon as I saw that she was captured in uh, chain, I was like, that's it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, right before we go into that, the last scene, uh, the last scene and set, I would say, um, we do get Tyrion, um, uh, Tyrion, and what's oh my god, what's his what's his name? Um, the, the, uh, the hand. No, no, no. Uh, what well, Tyrion's the Are you hand? Talking about Viserys. Viserys. There you go. Tyrion, Viserys. They're talking. The bald uh, one. Yeah, they're, they're talking. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 Viserys. Yeah. yeah. Right. So they're t- they're talking and they're just conversating and you know they're ta- they're and at the same time though Tyrion on the ride uh, on the ride over to the south Tyrion tells tells him the truth like. He's he's the true heir to the Iron Throne, and then that's when starts putting it in their head. That's why I believe Sansa. This is a trick, you know. She's trying to implant like. So you think she Jon did? Snow's she had that, she knew that motive. Rumor yeah, she she knew exactly what was gonna happen. She knew it, right? Yeah, she knew. She knew. She knew. She's like she's, she's like, like little finger. finger. Yeah. yeah. She's like turning him. To and and she said it in even in the episode right before she killed him was that you taught me very well and you and you taught me all your tricks and everything and but yeah. she also has a little bit of Cersei too. I think uh, that's what oh wow, from. you think so? Yeah, I, okay. I think like, she does. Yeah, she learned from those two. Yeah, those two are like big. Like, yeah, like, and we even terrible. see it. I think there's a moment where she talks with the Hound mm-hmm. in one of the opening scenes. Yeah. And yeah, he's telling he's her, like, that. oh, you're, she's like, I'm not a little bird anymore. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't be, like, if I didn't go through it, I yeah. would still be a little bird. I'll still be a little bird. And, and now I'm just proud who, of who I am. And she even mentioned it, even when she killed the Bolt, uh, Bolton, um, uh, when she wiped, I mean, he obviously did, she wiped out the house. He did deserve it. <laughs> yeah, he did deserve it. I mean, yeah, that was that was gruesome. That was but great. um, <laughs> great. And so we do we do go. Uh, you know, even Tyrion and and they said it. Even Tyrion said it so many times. Like uh, saying it is treason. And they That's it, yeah. yeah. And but he's all. I mean, it's funny though because they're like. I like how they conversate because he's all. Uh, he's all like, uh, what you're not thinking it. Well, thinking it's not treason. Saying it is like yeah. thinking thinking it was oh, one thing. So, and, yeah. Like, who's that, the ball guy's name again? Um, oh, Ver, uh, I think Barry? it's Viserys. 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 Yeah. Okay. Like in the, like two yeah. seasons ago when he first came to the Daenerys, he she warned him not to ever betray him. Yeah. Uh, betray her, 
and she'll like kill him with fire. No. I think this is gonna be like she's gonna find out. I think, but okay, he's yeah. on thin ice. Yeah, but he's like even talking about it. He's yeah. like, man, come on, man. He's gonna she's gonna find out. But but he did tell her in, in a couple. I think was it last season, the season before, where he's like, if yeah. you know, if there's ever a moment where I think you're making a mistake, I'm gonna tell you to your he, face. He tells her though. And he, he tells did. Danny. Yeah, he does. He does tell Danny like you're making a mistake, and we do get Cersei doing another good move. I guess because like, sadly a good move. She's putting all the civilians the in, 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 yeah, in you know, the innocent people into the red cape. So that way, it's like a chest. Danny, yeah. So that exactly, it's just checkmate. So and she does attack him now. She's looking more like the yeah. king and that queen. Yeah. yeah, and but uh, so we do go at the very last scene, guys. And this last scene is totally gruesome and it's totally intense. So much intensity here, and we do get the standoff um, between you know um, Danny and Cersei. It's crazy though, because I I did not notice they attached a lot of those spe- a lot of those air, um a lot of their defenses for dragons now. And you know, a lot of them. It's funny because you know they talk about the history of dragons. Like no one ever came up with the idea with uh, putting crossbow. Those. Yeah, really, really, yeah. Like, you know what? Let's make a really big crossbow. Yeah, yeah. Let's just start putting them everywhere. Fight these dragons. Yeah. yeah, genius. Yeah, and then they stopped it because I mean because the dragons they were extinct. They became extinct. Yeah, yeah. But then they but then from like. Brought being caged like, <laughs> yeah. not from being killed or yeah. like, they turn into like little puppies yeah but, oh, but it's interesting how like they finally figure it out like right now like okay yeah let's just, yeah, like, let's just figure it out it's great <laughs> i hate it I, I wish i yeah. could see them like like attack the castle easily but yeah do you think now that there's down to one do you think that at the end of the series that drogon will still be alive you know, there's just so much intensity here. I mean, it's only one target now. I, I it's hard to say, to be honest. It really is because um, it's just he's only one target now. That's it. And you see how many of and, those things and they have. Yeah, yeah, instead of Mother of Dragons now, it sucks because now it's Mother of Dragon now. She it's needs, not plural. She needs to let Jon Snow take. Like, I feel like there's a connection. Like, yeah. I don't know if you remember from that they're making out scene. And oh, yeah, when he was staring. He's, like, staring, staring yeah. at, like, what the fuck? Well, yeah, what are you, what there's are you a connection. At? Yeah. And he needs to ride it. And I feel like she's holding back cause if, if, because if she gets killed, then it's over. But yeah. John Snow's like, I don't care. I'll, yeah. I'll get on this thing. I'll go I'll go in there. And yeah. Like, I feel like he, the dragon will probably die, but it's going to go, like, like gangster style yeah (laughs) take out everybody yeah and then so uh we do get that last scene ladies and gentlemen of you know where miss sunny she's captured and yeah we do get the hand-to-hand talk the hands are talking amongst themselves and it's funny though because he said he said he was just like uh i am a mouth of the queen what does he say i'm a um yeah, uh, oh, like a messenger. I'm a mouth. Yeah, yeah. I'm, the, I'm the mouth of the queen, and then uh, Tyrion's just like you know he's trying to calm the storm. He's trying to calm the bloodshed, and he doesn't want anyone to. He doesn't want to hear burning children, and he said it. And you know, and that's, uh, he was really trying to like reason with him. He's like, yeah, help me out here. Yeah, help like, me out. To her. Yeah, because he me. knows how Cersei is. Cersei, yeah. Yeah. everyone knows she don't give. The crap. Any craps yeah. about any of her subjects. Even Tyrion, mess, even Tyrion says it to the public and says it to everybody right then and there. And even tells it to Cersei to herself is that what about your child? Think about your child. You know, you don't have to die. You'll survive. And it's crazy how Danny was even thinking of that, thinking of keeping Cersei alive um, after all, after all, you know, they've been through. Um, and so, but in regards to that, uh, man, sad, sad to say, we do get the death of Miss Sunday. And she passes how do you feel by about, the mountain again. You, and mountain takes another one. How do you feel about her last words? Oh man, that was that was good. That was a good way to go out. I would say, like, I mean, she said she went out fighting like a champ. She went out fighting, and she just yeah. told told, Jan, told Danny, stand your ground, you know, just cars, yeah, burn up. <laughs> yeah, and, and and it's crazy because I thought Cersei or I thought Mountain was gonna, or I thought they were gonna push her and then have her fall and then have you know, yeah, too. yeah, like oh, I, I mean. It doesn't look that high, <laughs> right? <laughs> until you hit the ground. <laughs> yeah, until you hit the ground, and so that scene that we get where he, where the mountain cuts off her head, sad way to die, yeah. um, is mm. Grey Worm. He's looking the other way, yeah. and at sad. the same time, Danny is enraged because she's lost everyone. She's really lost everyone that's followed her through this. I mean, well, she's she has a couple people just, still, but she Grey keeps Worm, really from she the original keeps losing crew. a lot of her keep people. Well, yeah, that from she the ori- from the original crew, like it's been, it's probably just Grey Worm that's really left, and because Jorah died, um, 
Whereas he wasn't the original. Um, but yeah, to be honest, it's probably just Grey Worm. That's really He's it. He's just a military yeah. tactic guy. She probably doesn't really like talk to him, but she talked to him. Um, just him his Sunday. Him yeah. Jorah. Jor- Jor- yeah, uh, they were like she, friends. You know, yeah, real close friends. So. She talked to Miss Sunday so much, and they've been through so much together. And to see this, she is enraged. She is cold hearted. She is just angry. She's making those faces of anger of the Mad King, and it just it looks vicious. And she's I think she's she, gonna snap. She said it. She, she said it to, to Tyrion though. She said it to Tyrion like she's all like, "I'm gonna give him this last chance, and if not, we are burning this city to the ground." And Danny said it, and Mila Clark said it. AKA Mila Clark has said it. That anyone on the, on the on the Tonight Show, she did say the episode five. You think you think Winterfell is big? Episode five, the next episode, guys, is gonna be big. Yeah, it's the same. Director, it's gonna be big. Right? Yeah, it's gonna be Ooh. really big. It's gonna be intense. We do get the crate. Uh, you know the 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 crazy battle in King's Landing. And of course, at the very end, guys. Of course, we do get Jamie. He is going to King's Landing uh, to try to save. I feel like what is was he trying he, to do? Was he like saying he loves her still, or uh, I don't know? What the I don't for know. me, I think. Yeah. Uh, for me, I interpret it as he's loved her all this time. Mm-hmm. I don't think he feels the same way about her. To be honest, I think he still cares about yeah. her. But that passion, love that we saw in the first. Yeah. A couple of seasons. I don't think it's there anymore because of what she's done to him. So yeah. for me, I think he just, it's him saying all that means he has to see it through. Yeah. He's done all this stuff yeah, over the course. Yeah. So if he has to see it through, he has to see. And I, in my husband, I think he's rooting for her demise. Yeah. <laughs> I don't no, think I, he's I, rooting I think for her yeah. to remain queen. Now, do you, do you think she's going to take off? You think Brian, uh, do you think she's going to take off? Brian? Yeah, you think yeah. you think I, th- I, I think I, I think, think she's going to so. take I think she's going to follow she's going to follow Cuz what other purpose does she have in Well, she's protecting um Sansa. Sansa. Remember yeah. the oath she still has to fulfill cuz that's why she stayed there at, at But Winter. who's to say that Sansa will remain in the north? Cuz you do still have Arya oh, no. and Bran. No, but she's the true lady of Winterfell though. She is the true lady. But you could still, there always has to be one Stark in the north and I think even if Arya and Sansa leave Bran is still there. Yeah, but Bran doesn't consider himself a Stark. You know what could happen is um, probably Sansa will let her go. Brienne, uh, Bran. Oh, Brienne? Yeah, Brienne. 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 Um, yeah, but maybe there's a scene where like she's sad and like, oh, just go. Yeah, yeah just, go. yeah. Follow your man. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I feel like it's going to happen too. I feel like he's going to, she's, she's going to follow Jamie. She really is. I feel like. Um, and then, of course, uh, right before that, uh, but before that gruesome death, we don't get another shot of Jon Snow heading down to King's Landing, but they're heading down to the south at this very moment with the Dothraki on the King's Landing. I think they called it King's Landing Road because it's the only road King's to go. Road? King's Road. There you go. Yeah, King's Road. So he's down there. I was surprised that we didn't get another shot at least of him finding out because we do get a shot of Brian, uh, Brienne and Jamie finding out the outcome of what happened. And of course, we do get the iron. The Iron Islands are back in Danny's control. We also do get uh, across the other. Um, oh my God! What's Dorn. the Thorn? Dor- yeah, Dorn. Dorn. Yeah, yeah. They they, they pledged allegiance uh, uh, to Targaryen. So um, we do get little small little tidbit answers there. Now, are they going to join the fight? That's the next question. Um, I so. Yeah, I think they should join the fight. I mean, Danny needs everybody, all hands on deck. She needs every single person out there to fight. But what? Uh, and I can understand Yara because Yara has yeah. been with Danny for a little bit, Alliance. But there's that new Dawnish prince mm-hmm. that we don't know about. We don't even yeah. know what the size of their army is. So you, yeah, well, I mean, even if yeah. the Dorn have like a huge army, yeah, I don't know how much of an army Yara. And yeah. the Iron Islands can produce. No, I, I it's hear hard. That. And if they do all go to Danny, it leaves Pike defenseless. Yeah. Well, that one lady's still probably in prison, right? I think it was from Dorne. What? I'm pretty sure. She yeah, died. you know what? Well, the, sure well, the, sure well, no, the daughter's passed well, away. The daughter, the daughter died. Dead, probably, yeah, the daughter she's died. She died of poison. Do you think that there's any slight chance she could? Um, or maybe her name be mentioned oh, or something. Man. I mean, obviously it has to mention. Yeah, it has to. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I mean, as long as Dorn comes to help, I mean, they need they need to bring their army though. They need to, but I don't know. We'll find out in the next episode. Um, so much action going on. I mean, this, two left. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, don't I can't believe there's two left. To so, yeah. so who do you think? I always, I always ask this because I'm always very curious. Who do you think will end up now that you've seen up to season? Or episode four, has your theory changed of who's going to end up on the throne? Like, where did your theory start off, and 
is it the same now that you've seen these four episodes? I always thought it was going to be Daenery, a uh, Daenerys. Um, but now I'm leaning more towards Jon Snow. Yeah. Yeah. I think she'll probably give it up to him. Nice. But, I would, but I heard this on another guy's podcast, but one of them has to die. Like, oh, I don't know how man, I feel yeah. about that, but I, yeah. I, I was I think really. One, yeah. If anything. Jon Snow could die because he, he, he already could. died before. Yeah, this could be like kind of like he could Lord give of the his Rings life. Or, what if what if he gives like, his life with the Frodo dragon? Has to go away. With with the dragon. What if he like gives, they yeah. sacrifice? Like what he if he gives the life for the and and dies with the dragon yeah. and then Danny mm. becomes queen? She, like he gives it to her. That's, yeah, it's one of the. She's gonna give it to him. Yeah, he's gonna give it to her. Or he's gonna give it to her. Yeah, so I feel like it's gonna, gonna come down to it. Two, really. It's gonna come down to it, and I hope they kill the mountain because I hope the hound goes to the south and kills the mountain. That's gonna kill each other. Oh, that'd that's be awesome. That'll be that'll be great. That'll be great. I think. I don't know. I think the mountain's stronger than the nah, hound. Nah, nah. The hound, nah. I, I, I have faith in the so, hound. But I think the hound is smarter. So yeah. I think it's going to be a good fight. And I think they're just going to end up like... I think Fighting he's going to kill the mountain, but he's going to be really wounded. Okay. Yeah, I could see like, that. Talk trash. Or, I could even see Arya trash. helping him out too. Yeah. I mean, that would be pretty good. Assassin mode, So much yeah. expectations. I Arya is going to kill Cersei. Or Jamie's going to kill Cersei. Oh, that'd I, I be wish good. it's Jamie. I wish he does it like the Mad King. where he, like, Kingslayer, yeah. She just loses it. She's, yeah. Cersei's like, maybe she put the fire, like yeah. the dragon f- fire everywhere. Yeah. And he has to do the same thing. Yep. His, to his love. To his, his love. sister. Mm. And, Screaming. And, uh, I think like, oh, I think That would so. be a cool way. Yeah. That would be a cool way. Uh, and then he takes off the mask and it's already. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, there you go. And right. that's how you found out Jimmy yeah. Leonard's just dead. There you go. All right. <laughs> twist. Yeah, twist. There you go, guys. All right, man. This is our review of Game of Thrones episode four. Ladies and gentlemen, be sure to look us up. On, uh, if you haven't already, guys, subscribe to us. If you're listening to us, thank you for listening to us on any device out there. And so much hype for this next episode. This is going to be the biggest Ooh. one. And I can't believe, I, we still can't believe, we're still in shock that there's only two more left. And then the movie. And, the, and, then, <laughs> and then the movie. <laughs> there's going to be a movie. <laughs> All right, but I appreciate it, man. Thanks right, for coming thank on you. the show, man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you were just on a trailer reaction. Now, now you're coming on a, on, on a podcast now, uh, on Game of Thrones, man. So, all right, guys. As always, I'm your host, Ryan D, a Ryan 680. Mangela, that cat lady, Ange. And I'm Bud, man. <laughs> all, right. all right, man. Thanks for being on the show. Yeah. Have a good one, guys.